Okay. You all have scissors and glue so I can give you what we're doing? No. Um, at home. Let me see. Which glue? Oh, I have glue. I was a little bit late. No, you're fine. Um, since, um, at home, you need your science journal. Y'all are going to have to write this out and show because me. Because I don't have. I was late because um, I went to go get my balloon. No, you're not late. You're fine. You're on time. You're fine. <laughs> I don't have any of those. You don't have any of that in your art bag. None of that. Where's your art bag at? Art bag. I gave you all glue. At one point, at, when I made those art bags, I gave you all glue. I know I did. Some of y'all didn't want it. Well, it's not going in. You're like, I don't need it. What y'all get at home? So renewable. Y'all don't have to do this here. Do we do? Do we get our science yes. journal right? Grab one, Michael. Adrian. Miss Hernandez. You over, Michael? Yes. Um, are you trying to share your screen? Not yet. Not yet. I will in a second. Hold on. Oh, you already have one? You needed what? Share my screen. We are going to sort these. So in your science journal, for y'all that are... Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes. Science, start copying it down. We're going to sort these... Objects. Hold on. We're going to do it together for the most part. Y'all probably already know what goes with. Okay, you don't have to do this. Y'all are doing here. Y'all have it. Y'all are just gluing it down. Hold on. They have to do it differently because they are at home. It's better say to art, and I'm not giving you any more. If that's the case, then you're not going to be able to go to art. You don't have scissors and glue and supplies you need. You understand? Y'all start here at school, or here, y'all start cutting these out. I will help you on the test. Y'all are just going to look the same, except you get to cut it out. Where do we cut it out? The squares. You see the squares? Y'all at home, copy it down. There's pictures. You're going to cut them out. We're sorting renewable and non-renewable resources. 
<clears throat> at home, make sure you get this coffee down. Here at school, we're cutting this, this stuff out. I got it, Miss Hernandez. Okay. We're gonna sort some stuff, but hold on, let me cut it out. You are gonna show me when y'all get done with your journal, so I can give y'all a grade for it. I know no other way to give y'all a grade other than cutting it and doing it like this. Do we get the so far? Yeah. Science journal out. You're gonna put your little table. You put this in a science notebook or social studies? Science. I'm going to show some pictures and we're going to sort things. They have it here where they can cut it out. Okay. Y'all just going to look me put what y'all just going to look like. Y'all have two different columns, renewable and non-renewable resources, right? You are going to show me. So renewable here in class, non-renewable. You see? Make sure you have this in your science journal. Miss Hernandez? Yes. I know what balloons used to be made of. What? I don't think, I shouldn't tell y'all. It's really, um terrifying and gross okay then don't tell us but i know it's like i'll just say it's from animals ew dead animals ew okay yeah y'all at home can probably already know what some of these go into if they go and where does water go is it renewable, it's renewable or? because it rains okay yeah. so then y'all would put y'all just gonna write water okay okay and plants and then plants, y'all would write plants. Because when it rains, it makes plants sometimes. Yeah, so y'all are just going to write the yeah. word. And the seeds and stuff. Can I glue them in? Y'all are gluing, yes. Y'all are gluing them under those columns. And I'm coming around to check. Or we're going to, or y'all are going to tear it out and turn it in and then I'll create it, I guess. I guess well, no, like you're going to put glue them in your journal and you're going to tear out that page that you glued them on. That's what you're going to do. Can animals be renewable? Yeah, right. Because they are, um, you can, um, yeah, they have other animals or, um, yeah. Mr. Nandes? Yes. Are those four um, little things just what we're going to put on there only that? There's more. There's more. There's like 12 of them. Oh, wait. Them. Air is air is renewable, right? Yeah, air is renewable and so is plant. So y'all would put all four of these, right? All four of these words and they're um, renewable. Y'all here, I, they better be right. I mean, we're doing it together, so they should be right for the most part. There might be. Not here. Wait, did you purposely put the air and the animals on there? No, they're renewable, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. After we write those down, um, where are the other ones? 
Hold on. Here are some other ones. Hmm? Okay, I'm going to take these off of here. What about these? Where do y'all think these go? At home, where do you think oil? Not only nailable. Both of them or one? Both of them, right? Okay, so then y'all would write yeah, both of them because oil and coal. Yeah, y'all would write oil and then coal. Because oil is eventually going to go out and um, coal, it's not always going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're trying to find a different thing to like, because these. What it, Mr. Nanda says, oil is oil and gas. Um, like what? What do you mean? Is oil and gas the same thing? Um, gas comes from oil. Mm. But oil, it's not like has, Natalie said, it comes in the mouth. It, well, it's not always going to be here. oil starts probably by like. Oil is the beginning process of it, and then eventually, the, through like the, the, I guess the, the process of everything, it eventually the um, processing of it, it eventually will become gas, mm. like gas that goes in your car. But oil also makes a lot of other things. I think like part of it is plastic too. Like you can make a lot out of like, like the processes it goes through, the chemical processes, it can be made into a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. What about minerals? They're probably trying to find like somewhere where there's a lot of oil or like resources. Minerals. I think minerals is re renewable, but I don't know. I don't think so. Wait, minerals is non-renewable? I would think so, because they're rocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't like Use right. rock. Renewable resources would be oil, coal, fossil fuels, metals, rocks, I believe. So you're saying that both renewable resources? Renewable or non renewable? Fossil fuels are renewable for minerals? Fossil fuels are renewable. Fossil fuels are renewable, are you sure? Wait, no, it's not renewable. Yes, non-renewable would be fossil fuels. What is this called? Engaged? Okay, engaged. Hold on. I'm trying to find to make sure we're doing it right. Our gluing is here. What is this? Four points. And then minerals are renewable, right? I don't need the renewable resources for the space. Minerals is non renewable, right? So then the minerals is like a um, renewable resources, right? Mm -hmm. If what? Read, read the back over there. The anchor chart has some of those on there. Anchor chart says what? There's oil, coal, fossil fuels, and metals are non-renewable. So 
So metals would be non-renewable. Rocks. Air? Is there always air circulating and it comes back? Yes. So then it's renewable, yes. What? Yes, make sure your name's on it. Um, we said rocks. Uh, are fossil fuels renewable? Oil and coal and gas are considered like fossil fuels. Are they renewable? Will they be made again in our lifetime? Yes. Yeah. Uh, anchor chart has what fossil fuels are back there. Adrian, are fossil fuels, read that anchor chart. Are fossil fuels renewable or non-renewable? Non-renewable. Non because they might take I put it on here. What about? Oh, we already got those. Minerals. Non-renewable. Non because they're tiny bits of rock. So then that makes rocks non-renewable, right? Yes, and gems. And gems. You yes, should not be rocks. getting this wrong. Okay, that's more red. That's more red. Read the anchor chart back right there. It's got it. Natural resources in blue. What examples of what's renewable and what's not renewable? We eat a hamburger. Can we go get it? What does the blind say? But can another animal, can you go make another hamburger patty from another animal down the street? No. You can't, there's not going to be a cow down the road you can butcher and get another hamburger patty from? No. Yeah. Well, so wait, miss, what do we do? In general, can you make another cow in your lifetime? Can another cow be made in your lifetime? Yes. Oh, yeah. So that makes it what? Only renewable. mothers. Renewable. Only mother cows can make. Mother okay, cows. but Jacob, can it be made again in a lifetime? In your lifetime, will there be, or you're gonna eat one hamburger today and never have another hamburger again? No. Unless. Wait, Miss, can you scoot down? Because I can't see one in there. So that means it's what? Renewable. Renewable. You're telling me if something's not renewable, like a ham, like a cow, a hamburger, that you're not gonna be able to eat a hamburger today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday of next week. Because you'll never get to have another cow. Animals are renewable because they can make, be made again. What be there? Yes, some are not. Question? Y'all at home, when you're done, show me so I can see. That anchor chart's got like three or four of the awards we have listed on there. What do I do with this? Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take points off just because it's gluing. That's non-renewable. Listen, I'm just, so we got all of them? That was, oh wait, you got natural gas. Where does natural gas go? Renewable? Renewable? I mean, in renewable because it's natural. Nope. Think of the the gas that comes out of your stove, like the flame. That's a, that's that's a, that's a fossil fuel. Oh, oh, so it is non-renewable. It's non-renewable. Yes. What is the bottom one that has the gems? It's gems. I can't see the stove one. Okay. Show me when you're done. I want to see it. Actually, I want to see it because I'm going to grade it right now. You done? Cut it or turn it off? The last ones are already done with it. What is the one that has the jewels on it? It's a G, it's gems. Gems. It's a gems. When you're done, I want to see it so I can put your grade in right now. I'm done. How many is there? 12? 
Hold on, let me let me make the grade. Hold on. Ah. Perfect. That means I'm I'll have done. all science. Hold on. I mean, let me make the grade real fast. Let's do it right this moment. Some of y'all's reading grades. Woo! What is that? What's the picture of it? Start on your math test, okay? Or keep going. Hmm? What's Here, Miss Hernandez. Hold on. Some of y'all need to go back and do some of the science quizzes that y'all are missing. Did I miss any? Hold on. Um, resources. Sort. What is it? Resources sort. Um, Miss, can I show you? Natalie, let me see it. When you're done, let me see it. Minerals. Those are rocks. Can you see it? Yes, Mariah. Okay. You can see it. Yes. Vida, let me see yours. Is water renewable or non renewable? Look at the anchor chart right there. It says everything that we have on it. It literally does. Water, plants, animals are renewable. I'm done. I'm done. RJ, let me see it. Okay. Measure these again. Bring your measure these again right here. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see it. All right, good job, RJ. Um, let me see. Mr. Nandis. Yes. You already saw mine. Yes. Seven. Okay. Seven. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. Seven. Okay, I put seven. And then, what is it? Five? What is the difference between those two numbers? What does difference mean? What does difference mean if we're using it in math? Minus. 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 So you're going to subtract those two numbers. And then I need the same thing here. Let's measure this again in centimeters. How many centimeters is it? Uh -uh. Start over here at the corner right there. Um, huh? 11. Is Jim coral? Coral? James are rocks. Are rocks renewable? Now measure the side. I think, yeah, no, you got it right. Six. We're finding the difference again. So you need to subtract here and here. Go back and fix those two real fast. And then drop those again. Put chart that's not renewable. Okay. Did y'all all finish your test? I think y'all did. Except Sierra, you haven't finished your math test. Let me check to make sure you all did. We're going to start back on our pamphlet, and that's a great again for y'all at home. So we need to finish it. Y'all here when y'all are done. We're going to be working on that pamphlet for reading. Back there, the anchor chart. And I'm pretty sure I have them. Oh, no, I don't. The anchor chart has what some of those are. So I think Sierra is the only one on here that has to finish that. The rest of y'all get your pamphlet out. We're going to work on it. Our RJ, when you get it, if okay. you're, when you get a chance, RJ, I need you to go bubble in your test, okay? Whenever you get it here. On Canvas? Yeah, uh, no, it's going to be on the student online testing. Okay. Right now, after my sister's done with the Zoom. That's fine.
Some of these up here on the board. Are we going to finish this today? The pamphlet? Yes, we're going to start working on it now. As soon as we get up. Let me see. Seven minus five? Right here. One, two, three, four, five. When they're done, do we cut the page out? Fix it. Yes. The rest of y'all, let me see your stuff. I already showed you, right? I already showed you. I know that y'all, some of y'all have showed me. This is the other one right here. Nope, oh, nope, right here. 39 times, is it three? No, it wasn't three. Right here, 39 times 2. We'll finish mine, we'll fix that. Um, Audrina, did you finish yet? No, we're working on our pamphlet, the orange thing. Oh, the orange thing? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all that are not doing your work. <gasps> Michael, I need you to go into science. I wrote it all down, Ms. Fernandez. Let me see it. Miss, where do we put it when we're done with it? Let me see it. Trying to take the grades as we do it because some of you are just missing. I'm gonna probably make some. Let me finish my screen, guys. That's it. Okay. What'd you get? Let me see it, Audrina, real fast. 18. One goes up here. So now you multiply three times two and then add one. Yeah. Good job, Adriana. Where's the other one? Right here. Seven. Okay. You're gonna have to log in. Wait. Log in and bubble. Do that real fast. Okay. The rest of y'all, we're moving on to our pamphlet. Why are they? Michael, what are you working on? You're working on. I'll catch you up on our pamphlet in a little bit. Okay. What are we gonna do? I guess you can work on that and then you can come back to science. Okay. Yes, we're going to work on our pamphlet. Yes, is it okay if I put the water dead park in? Okay, the okay, hold on, hold on. Yesterday we got. <sighs> We got, what should we call it? We got, um, we did research in class. Yesterday we did research. I think y'all are supposed to do research in class. Let's take a new survey of our favorite parks. Yesterday it was the whole park before we did research. I finished it. Can I see it? Was Water's Edge. I think we ended up deciding Water's Edge was the park. Yeah, deciding one time, then for the glow one. I 
Good job, Ozzy. Good job. Okay, so we took a survey. Pay attention. Yesterday. And I think we had decided that. Oh, I'm probably not sharing the screen. Can y'all see my screen? Yeah. Yes. I know y'all can. And they also write this in our book. No, 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 no. We're eventually we're gonna write this down. I think in our. Oh, I should have just showed my thing. Okay. Where's my thing? Okay. In our pamphlet, I guess we can use it as over here in our pamphlet. We're gonna take a survey and we're gonna put it in our pamphlet. Pay attention, cause you're doing this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, on the next blank page in your pamphlet. The next page on our your pamphlet, yeah. Right on the which playground is better or something like that, right? Huh? It's the next pamphlet on our which playground is better or something. And the pamphlet, whatever the next open page, I think we had Cole Park right here in the middle, and then we had the next one, it's like at the end. Okay. Hold on, let me unlock it. Hold on, we're going to describe the other parks and then we're going to make a claim. Okay, so try it before you push your head. Hold on, guys. Notebook that you're writing this in. I'm going to show you all what we're going to draw because I'm going to draw it too. Yeah, there we go. So, we have right here. We're gonna take a survey before we write it in here. So, survey, now me, let me write it on my paper. Not yet, I'm gonna show y'all how to write it and what I want it to look like. How many people think now, after your research, Um, Water's Edge Park is the best park in Corpus. Raise your hand. One, two, just two, three. Okay, three people. One, two, three. Wait, Mitch, can you raise your hand? North and south. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I didn't see y'all. How many of y'all think um, Water's Edge? One, two, three, four people? Okay, so four. Never mind. Four people. Four. How many think North Pope and South Pope Park is the best park? Maybe, because it's close to your house. Uh, Nobody? Park, park I'm going to put my vote on there just to give us one vote. How many people think Cole Park is the best park? One. That's it. Where's the rest of y'all voting? Cole Park? I voted. Cole Park? Did you vote? I did. Waters Edge Park, Cole Park, what? I, I voted for Waters Cole Park, just one person likes Cole Park? I'm putting some more of y'all on there. I like Cole Park. Okay, two. We got two people. Only like seven of y'all participated. Quickly. So on here, we're going to draw a bar, bar draft. It's blurry. I'm going to put best parks. Best. 
At the top, best parks. Best parks. And we'll make a chart. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, that's five, six. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna um, shorten mine. So Waters Edge Park. Blurry. Hold on. I was about to put ticket though, six of those little things. I feel like I can just see what we are doing when I'm writing for behind my desk. Jacob, are you writing this down? Start writing this down right now. So best parks. The Water's Edge Park is this one, North and South Cole Park, and then Cole Park. So we said, um, I guess four people. We said four people liked Waters Edge Park. So you're going to draw, you're going to shade in. You're going to shade in all the way to number four right here. Fade into number four. I'm going to label mine four. An and sign, you can put in and S. Then one person, me, liked um, North Hope Park. Ms. Hernandez liked that one. I'm put one. And then. I've never been to North Hope Park. They're just the parks that are right here by us. There. Man, how many people like Cole Park? Two people like Cole Park. Because nobody voted. So two people like Cole Park, too. So what can you tell from the chart? What's the favorite part? Waterhead. So our description is going to say, from the chart, from the chart, you and tell that Waters Edge Park is the favorite. You are writing this above it. I'm going to underline that.
Makeup, I want to be able to read what you're writing. Where's the top part? I have something right now. You need to tell me. Your art, you're making a claim about water inside your car. You're the best. You have to write that down. What, you work on? Yes. Right? Isn't that what the part's telling us? Okay, now on these two sides, right here, I need you to tell me, um, Describe North and South, so draw a map of North and South Fork Park, and then tell me, I guess, why it's not that fun. Why are they not fun? Park right here. Maybe why are they not as fun? Why are they not as fun? Maybe because they don't have a better equipment. Yeah, so put, um, you can just put more N and P on North and South Park North. And South Coast Park aren't fun because they don't have that much equipment, right? And then draw a picture of like your park, which has almost nothing in it. So, on this, are you done? On this side, I want you to draw or why are North Pope. Are y'all done with this? I can go on and explain the next part. Yes? Okay. No, so I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Or just a picture, or no, not a map, a picture of what it looks like. What does it look like? Is there much there? I was probably big there, but I can't remember what it looks like. Huh? I've been there before, but I can't remember what it looks like. There's not much there, these parts, is there? I know there's a basketball court at this one over here. This one's got like soccer, but that's like it, isn't it? Okay, then you're describing to me on that. Back middle side, once they get done, try to get done. Okay. On the back side, or what about the back side? Flip it. Come on, flip it. See how can you do it? Left side, flip it here. In the middle. The back middle one. The back middle one. The back middle one. Flip it. The back middle one. The back middle, right here. Michael, you're done right? Right here, the back middle. You're gonna to explain to me why North Coast and South Coast Park aren't as cool. Why are they not as cool? So you're gonna tell me the North Coast and South Coast Park do not have that much equipment. When you draw what they look like. I mean there may be a slide in basketball court while you draw. So right there, what is, what's wrong with them? They don't have North Coast and South Coast Park have very little play equipment. Come on, y'all writing it. Y'all can start writing it. So, are you drawing a picture of it? Your spelling's not perfect, that's fine. On the middle, the back middle, I'm flipping it. I have a very few. 
I'm done. Okay, there's probably not much in this cake. Yes. Draw what you saw the last time, a slide, maybe a basketball court. That's probably it, right? Okay, for y'all at home, on the back middle right here, in the middle. Okay. You're going to write, I guess, North and South Pope Park. Yes, I put it in the middle. There's the one thing for that part. Yeah, there's the one thing Okay, you didn't do it right, did you? Find an empty square then. It's part of following directions. North and south. Oh, I forgot to put Pope. Pope, sorry, north and south Pope Park. So, why are those parks not as fun? Somebody at home tell me why those parks aren't as fun. Come on. Somebody at home tell me why those parks aren't as fun. What? So you're going to write that. They said here they don't have as much play equipment. That's what you needed to write in the middle here. And then you need to draw a picture of the parks or what they have. Okay, I'm coming around to check. Come on. Right here, you're going to make your claim. Come on, did you draw with the park? I know it has a basketball court and I know it has a slide. I don't know what else the park's have. There's soccer field. You need to draw that. Jacob, you drew that? Did you draw that on your thing? I told you one of them I know has a basketball court and there's probably a slide there. You need to draw what some of it looks like. 
Huh? Okay, then what else is there? You said sprinklers. Drop some sprinklers. Wait, 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 no, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Can we go to the map park? For what? You mean right? North Park. Well, you should be on the North and South Park Park. Did you do that part? Well, they yeah. have it on until they lost all the green off. Jacob, they draw soccer fields. You know there's soccer fields. Draw the soccer field. I think on that one I said um go to water that part because it is have you done that part? Yeah. So and you drew what it looks like. Uh, yes, we are all what it looks like. I need a picture because you're trying to tell me to go to the certain parts. Maybe I want to go to North and South Park Park because it's right up my right behind me. For the last part, I will guide you over the last part. At home, I'm going to ask to see you on the sign, man. I don't know how South Polk Park looks like. Y'all didn't do research yesterday? We were, we were supposed to be doing research yesterday. I gave you a time to do research. Y'all even had more time. Y'all didn't have to come back to Zoom. They had to work. But some of y'all did work yesterday. Everyone's gonna tell you what's the like the thing you don't like about the park. No, you're gonna you're gonna tell me. I guess you're gonna draw a picture of it. Oh, okay. then, I guess draw a picture, yes, and then tell me why you don't. I guess that part's not as fun. Why is that part not as fun? There's not that much play equipment. I guess what I heard. What you are telling me, there's not that much play equipment. Are we gonna write anything down yet? Yes, y'all write it down. Y'all, RJ, you're drawing what the park looks like, and then you're telling me why it's not as fun. Oh, okay. Can you make your last part, Michael? Okay, so now you're gonna tell me you should go to what park? Oh, you're still drawing. Come on. I don't know how South Pole Park looks like. Um, you can just draw, I guess, like a basketball court and they have soccer fields. That's kind of all I know. I don't think they have very much. Maybe they have a slide. I was going to say that because they need to add like, something more because there's not a lot of things to do over there. Okay, then put that down. It's like that part, these parks, these two parks don't have very much play equipment. Y'all wouldn't pick to go there if we had a field trip to one of these three parks. Okay. Okay. I wish we had two fields, but it feels like there was a cold park and water that's park. But if we went to cold park, I just have to. Done with it? Yeah. Done with all of it. Okay, so now which park do you am I are you telling me to go to? Oh, uh, water So you need to go to Water's Edge Park, is what you're going to write down. Oh, you're supposed to be out there. I'm getting my turn. Make sure your name's on it. I'm going to take it up. On the last one, you're going to tell me which park I need to go to. Which park do I need to go to? Water's Edge. No. Which park do you, do you want me to go visit? Because it's the best park to see. Which one do you like the most? So 
then you need to, you were gonna write there, you should go to water, Water's Edge Park because it has most play equipment on I don't know, it has snacks and trucks or something. At home, are y'all ready for the last part? I'm gonna show y'all in a second. At home, are y'all ready for the last part? Yes. So right here, I'll start by writing down what you should begin with. You sure it works? You're going to start here. You should. Go to blank park. Which park should I go to? You're going to put in what you think the park I should be. I should go to. There. I'll fix it. Blurry. You should go to Blank Park. It has the most play equipment. It's the best to be around. It's it's something. Wait, so we have to put in what park and then put in, put in like what's like what it is. It has like slides or something. So yeah, you should go to Blank. I'm gonna say Cool Park because it's got a snow cone machine at it. Or you should go to Cool Park because it's the best in the city. Something like that. It, isn't that like an opinion? Yeah, but you're making an argument. You're making an argumentative brochure. You want me to go to one of these parks? So that's what we've been doing all week. You want like, me to go to one? You should start going to this park. Yes, you want me to. You're I. I'm your audience, and you're trying to persuade me to go to one of these parks. So yes, yeah, that is an opinion. You should go to this park because it's much better than the other park. Oh, good. Sweet Larry James and the artist behind us. Michael, go into, um, I guess, let me see. What are we missing for you? Hold on. So, me, I'm going to be catching y'all up the rest of the afternoon because we're behind on millions of things. Hold on. I think you're missing something. Not that hard. Jacob, I mean, not Jacob. Adrian, did you start it already? Yeah. Uh, bring it here and let me see it real fast. Let me see. Can you color on the same thing on the other side? Yeah, you're good. You could have used color. Jacob, come get on a can our computer and take a science quiz that you didn't do last week or you didn't go back and bubble in from last week. Jacob. Come sit on the computer over here and you won't hear him. It's not to that one, I don't believe. The one where we had to write, or is that the one I graded? Hold on. Maybe that's the one I graded. Let me see. We have your grade. No, it was less than so where we had to do erosion and um, deposition. You need to come answer it. Yeah, page, is it? Nope. Yeah, page 42 in there. You didn't bubble it in. Come bubble it in. Listen, Andres, can I show you what I drew? Let me see. Okay. Nice, I like it. Good job. 
I, I drew lights too in the basketball court. I see yeah, the basketball court. I see the lights. Good job. Yeah, I like it. Which park should I go to, RJ? Um, the one with the one that has the swings. Which one's that park? I'm not sure which park that is. Um, it's the one. Um, I don't know. Um, the one with the spinny thing. The one where. Oh, the kids... water's edge park. The one with the oh, hamster yeah. wheel. Yes. What? Something. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to see what y'all owe me to make sure that y'all are caught up for starter support. Michael, you need your. You finished. You finished this, right? Science. Get your science up. I think we had already. Um, get this one out. All right. You're gonna need symmetry, right? Did I give you one of these already? Yeah. Okay. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna use colors. It needs to match symmetry. So when you look, you're gonna go across here and you're gonna color it exactly. The same picture on this side. So you color in like these two, these two. What? Yes, you're going to need that. Hold on, let me make sure you're done. Bring it up, put it up Are here on the table. Down the cemetery? Ugh. Up there. Here. Put it with the purple one. Hold on, I'm gonna show you in a second. I was trying to figure out. You don't have to use red, you can use whatever color you have. Page 42. Yeah, it's like a quiz. That I think I had them go back and enter. Or maybe I just had them show me. No, they went in and entered. What are you doing with the cemetery? Get over here and do my on. On break, can I get some up? Maybe. You're sitting there quietly. Remember, then we do my on, right? Hold on, I'm making sure all of y'all are caught up on your your work for last week. So. Hold on, I'm trying to catch all, I'm trying to help him, trying to help them and catch y'all up. Hold on, I will tell y'all on your work. What is breaks are? I don't know. Think about not giving y'all one. Oh man. Some, uh, you know, some grades galore. Oh, I think you're missing the other one too, we took. There's another one. Where's the grades? Both of those, yeah. You can do, no, uh, do the other one first. The other one's this one. I might have y'all online go do the near plot for science. No, 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 you're, you're good. You're good. Yes. Um, hold on. If you didn't do yesterday's social studies quiz during, after we got off Zoom at home, you need to do that next. Speed grader. So we're going to. These are the ones right here, and we're going to put them in each one of these. Hold on, let me. What am I missing to do? Okay, hold on. I think you have to go put your math in, but if you don't have a computer, then we're not going to be able to do that right now. But what is the math called? Um, it's the math test and student online testing. You know where you go into your Canvas and your backpack? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. what I think you're missing right now, I believe, is it. Because you did okay. it. You did the social studies yesterday. Okay. I might just give some of y'all some more my on time because. Yeah. 
Are we almost done with the meeting? No, Nita, you can have my on time for right now. What? My on time. Okay. Yeah. I think just science. Yes. You did social studies. You finish it. Put it up there on the um with those over there. Oh, that's mine. Well, we did social studies yesterday. We might go and do the science in your pod in a few minutes. All of it. What else did we do that we missed? Oh, the adjectives of the pumpkin. You gotta do your pumpkin. Pumpkins from outside. She has to do a pumpkin from outside. Okay. So it says water freezes and expands inside a rock, splitting the rock into pieces. Can you look your book? Pumpkin, you have to do a pumpkin. Yes. You did not finish social studies yesterday. That is next on your assignment once you finish reading. I want to see your pamphlet. So I'm going to give you a grade for it. I want to see it. Um, I was looking for downloads. So water freezes and expands, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? Mine, I'm sorry. What is it? We're talking about water expanding. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is Let's skip that one. What's the next one? I don't know where it's at. A river leaves soil, um, sand and soil along the coast as it enters the ocean. This is an example of. Oh, I finished it. Can I see it? Right here. So it says eventually wind, water, and ice put down sediment they carry. This process is called deposition. If you deposit something, you put it down. Over time, deposition can build. So when you go and you leave something somewhere, it's like a deposit. It's right here. Right. Um, let me make sure you're not missing. Did you get social studies done yesterday? I think you got to go do social studies, Ozzy. It's on Canvas. Okay. It's going to be chapter uh, three, lesson one quiz. Mm -hmm. It's the first one that has a rocket ship. Yeah, it's the first one that has a rocket ship. Same. What? Where did I find it? We found it in here. We found it in here. I just don't know where we found it at. Miss Hernandez, do I have anything like that I missed from the thing? Like um, how you were telling people? Oh, I do have something you can do. Okay. I just saw it. I got 10 questions. Right. Don't have no place for the next one's done. It depends on what those quiz. Where did it go? 
Wait, but do I have anything on there? Did you do social studies yesterday? After we got off? Mm -hmm. Describe the inside of the pumpkin, right? What is it like the inside of the pumpkin? Oh, yeah, that? The pumpkin? Nope, they social studies. You need to go to Canvas. Okay. Is it working? Ah, I lost. So weathering is not only that land functions. When rocks break down into smaller pieces, those pieces are often moved. This movement of rock particles is to a new place is called erosion. Wait, wait, not that one. A breeze carries a small rock away from the mountains and gentle works. Um, when rocks break down into smaller pieces, these pieces often get moved. This is an example of erosion. Hold on, let me see what I'm It was in here. I just don't know where you saw that at. I don't know. Ready, skip up there and hear another thing here? Oh, it's on this page. Oh, beans and cheese. Yeah. Sorry. Oh yeah, this is talking about weathering, and then down here, over time, large formations like canyons can form. Mr. Hernandez, I'm on canvas. Remember that water expands when it's freezing. So what's an example of? Okay, so submit your course. Um, go to social studies. Ozzy, you have to go to your social studies too to, I think, complete that quiz. Okay, all my social studies. Mr. Yeah. Hernandez. Natalie, yes. I sent you a chat. Oh no. Hold on. I'm completing it right now. Okay, good.